Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here with my version 2 of the uh, LEGO 3D printer rifle. Um, there are actually quite a bit of things different about this version. Um, there's a lot more going on everywhere. Uh, so, first off, um, I changed the charging handle or reload mechanism, I guess. Um, in the real one, well not the real one, but the video game version in the video game, it flips out like this, and then you pull this back and then a tube comes out here and gets rid of all the used stuff, and then puts in new liquid matter, and then you lock this back forward and push it back in, and that's how that works. But, yeah, so pretty much it just goes out, there's no tube that comes out this end because I couldn't really do that. and then. What happened is the tube would go into here, and then come out this hole. It wouldn't come out this hole, it would just push out, and then you'd pull back, and then do that, and reset it, and it would be, I guess, locked and loaded. Um, now what I added is uh, I have a laser sight on here. It's pretty easy to take off, and it's attached to the hand grip. And now the hand grip does come off, and here's the tactical rail on the bottom. There's there, I don't have the 1x2 flats lining the bottom like um, I could, not, I can't, but like there should be, there should be 1x2s lining the bottom, but I don't have those. So, there, just attach it to the bottom fairly easily, and then your laser sight. Just like that. Now what I have here is I have the... Um, the sight that you see in the trailer, uh, I wasn't really able to get a really good look at it, but I think I got it pretty good, I guess. There's a little bit of an angle on the ears of the sight, uh, this angles in on both sides, so it kind of pinches off to a point at the top. Um, and these red pieces right here are little bars that go into the actual sight. And there would be a dot in the middle, but I can't really have a piece suspended in midair without, like, glass or something. So that just goes on the rail. And, oh, so I think these are the iron sights, or what the iron sights would look like. But, so what you do is you just aim down just like that, I think. I don't know. But yeah. Also in the FPS view you have the ammo counter, um, here I was only able to do the number 41 or 41 or 11 and uh, I chose 41 because that's more of a realistic amount of ammo in a weapon. And on the bottom you have the little serial number and on the left side here you have um, your grenade count I think. And that's what those two little pieces are right here and here, yeah that's what those are. Here we have the other side of the gun. Now I added the um, little, I guess, um, out print of the uh, vent and the electronics or whatever inside the weapon. You have the vent on the other side, it's curved now. And also you have the tube, it's actually a tube that can come out, but you have to take apart the gun to take it out. So, yeah. Um, Everything else is pretty much the same, handguard and everything like that. The, uh, there's a difference in the muzzle. Uh, before it was just like this, without the holes there. It was just flat, but now I added um, more uh, flats on the outside of it to even give it a more cylindrical shape. So that's pretty much it. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if I'll be making any more um, advanced warfare guns for a while until the game comes out. So yeah, burp. Oh, also, um, if this is the first on YouTube, well, I guess the second on YouTube since the other one, but, uh, tell me if it's the first on YouTube or something like that, because I, I don't know, I think it is maybe the first on YouTube, I don't know.